Okay, we're in downtown Tampa today. We've just sort of explored around and wound up in downtown Tampa. We're gonna stretch our legs a little bit. Uh, we're in front of one of my favorite cemeteries. Oaklawn Cemetery. Yay. So if you woke up this morning thinking, gee, I wish someone would take me on a virtual tour of Oaklawn Cemetery in Tampa, you are in luck because here we are. This is the oldest public burial ground in the city of Tampa. It's what, one of the things that makes this unique for me is, and I guess in general, is it houses Civil War heroes, uh, or it, it, it contains, I shouldn't say houses, it contains uh, governors, mayors, uh, there's a Catholic portion in the back, uh, that contains some of the first uh, missionaries to this area. And it also contains unnamed outlaws and slaves who were just willy-nilly hanged for whatever reason. Outlaws and slaves were willy-nilly hanged. So it, it's, it's eclectic in that sense. It also has a really interesting area or, or part of it where um, a tree has grown up around one of the stones it's really and you don't even know who the stone is because the the tree covers it so we're just gonna and i think this is the first time we've gone live as the florida explorer so i'm going to try not to shake too much which is a hallmark of all my videos lawyer circuit judge florida supreme court justice Governor of Florida. H. L. Mitchell. Let's try and get a good view on that. Okay. And we're just gonna kinda wander around willy-nilly here. Any sort of don't recommend coming down here alone or uh, without proper protection. This is not the best part of town. We're right, literally, right on the uh, the verge of the ghetto, so it's not. Uh, I wouldn't want my wife or daughter or whomever coming down here by ourselves. James Wall, John Dixon Wall, I think they were attorneys. At least one of them was. Oh, one guy didn't live very long. Cool old oak trees, classic uh, Perry Wall, 1867-1944. A man among men served his country. William Wall served his country in the war. Ninth Florida Infantry. Sign. Here's the hallmark of any old inner city cemetery is when it starts getting cold down here or up north, people and up there come down here. The homeless come down here. This hallowed ground set aside as a town burial site in 1850 for whites and slaves alike is the nesting place for many of Tampa's family fathers, mayors, and county officers. A Governor of Florida, two Supreme Court judges, framers of all the Florida, of all five Florida constitutions, and soldiers of seven wars. And I didn't know that part about the all five framers or all framers of all five constitutions. That's pretty interesting.
Pioneer Family Listed Kennedys, listed in Tampa Blue Book, settling in 1840. Founded first Indian trading post, trusted friend of Chief Billy Bowlegs. Kennedy's claim first recorded deed in the county. That's interesting. So this is the Kennedy plot. Wow, Billy Bowlegs. Keep in mind, as many times as I've been here, this is probably my fourth or fifth time being here, still learning new stuff, still. It's, it's a huge cemetery, as you can see. It goes all the way in the back over there. And it's fairly, fairly good size. I shouldn't say huge, but it's fairly good size. Old, and it's not interring anymore. Got a little bit of damage to a stone over here. And tell us who Bo Billy Bowlegs was. Do we know who Billy Bowlegs was? He was an Indian. He was a Seminole Indian who was a chief, the chief chief, the head chief, or the chief chief of the Seminoles during the third Seminole Indian War, which occurred in the 1850s. Here's some interesting parts here. There's the sheriff. You have a sheriff. He gets a stone. Yep. She gets a stone. What's that? I'm armed. Here's one of the more interesting sections. This is more or less the, the potter's field area, I should say. Um, No, I'm wrong. That's not this part. Okay, here's Conrad's. He died in the 1850s. Okay. There's a, a memorial dedicated to 29 sea captains and mariners. Here's the uh, memorial to all the uh, yellow fever epidemic victims. All the different uh, outbreaks. Get to it. <laughs> oh, here it is over here. Okay. This is the part that I find very interesting. Negro slave, Leslie family, he died 1850, so this person, this person is buried here. Yeah, that's out there over there, so right there, back over there. This whole Catholic section is where the, the uh, those priests are buried. It just adds a whole other cool dimension to the, to the cemetery. Sally McDonald, I know her. Here's, here's where it starts getting interesting, too. Um, Tony Davis Brown, Bell's Wharf. Adam, 
a black slave lynched. Jose Perfino El Indio, a Cuban pirate killed in 1850. Mr. Hubbard, a Cuban pirate from dead in the woods, 1850. Charles Owen hanged, 1882. So he did something to piss off somebody. And if I'm not, I could be wrong, but I think this is what it was. It seems like this was over there before, but I don't know. Seems kind of willy-nilly. Yeah, sitting down there by itself like that. I'm going to go look at the Catholic section now. St. Louis, Catholic Cemetery, 1874. Oh, I see. So there's actually two separate parts, but they were just more or less joined in for purposes of. So we're right on the outskirts right now of the old Oak Lawn Cemetery. So that, Oak Lawn and St. Louis separation marker. Right there, apparently. I guess that's what that is there. That. Yeah. Look, it's Catholic. Oh, cool. What is it? Oh, I see. Very neat. Good, good eyeballs. I didn't see that. I never noticed that before. You have to be careful to notice it. Oh, you, know, you do, do you? Okay. Yeah. And that's me. <laughs> There's a little marker thingy. This marker separating Oklahoma and St. Louis was erected, etc. 1998. I've seen that. Neat. St. Louis. Catholic, I guess. Oh, I see. It says St. Louis Catholic. I don't know what that says there. I can't read it. All right, that's cool. John McCormick, police officer, assassinated in the line of his duty. And discharge of his duty, it says. Somewhere around here. Here it is. Okay. Oh, and then someone has scratched. Now this this is new since last time I was here. Someone has scratched the name on the back end of this thing. I guess they figured out who it was. But the actual front of the, the engraved part of the stone is on the other side, and it's buried. Oh wow, yeah. There's some the remnants of uh, the base of a wrought iron constitution. Guerra. We're in the Catholic section, I guess, now, yes? Okay. Looking in the drawers. I'll do that good. Good. Oh, is that what that means? I don't even know what that means. I thought there was a countdown. Okay. Okay, so this is the Catholic part of it. it I'm calling it the Catholic part of Oak Oakland Cemetery, but it wouldn't actually be that. It would be the Catholic Cemetery of St. St. Louis Cemetery, St. Louis Catholic Cemetery, uh, that joins or butts up next to Oak Lawn. Today you can't tell the difference. I wonder if at one point there must have been a fence there. 
It's odd how people are so acutely aware of their differences that they would. Oh yeah. That they would uh, bury people, and it's odd to find slaves or blacks and whites at all buried uh, in the same ground. So that's pretty. In and outlaws, outlaws typically would have just got thrown in the ground somewhere, or any kind of near do well type person. But the Catholics are very separate in general and now here very clearly so. That's interesting. I don't think I noticed that before. I don't know, they're gathering for something. Maybe they're gonna protest Trump. Good luck, he's president. Oh here's another guy who served his country. CV. Alfonso Delaunay, pioneer citizen of Tampa, and this family. So again, we're in the Catholic section here. We're in the St. Louis Catholic Cemetery in downtown Tampa, in a less than good part of town. I certainly don't recommend coming down here uh, alone for, for any woman. fairly recent, I would think. This is 1907, but that's interesting. I bet somebody did that later. My goodness, that statue's head is completely torn off. So we have in the hand, so we have some vandalism going on here. And surprising given where we are. An old school mausoleum. It's completely empty. Or at least on the top, I should say it's empty. I don't see anything in there. I wonder if those are burial vaults or were at one time. That's interesting. I see. Now we're back in the Oaklawn portion, heading back out the exit. The older person is over that way, and we've seen it, so um, basically finished with the, the tour. <laughs>
Georgia Guard see us in a private So with that, we're going to wrap it up. Anyone who watched, we appreciate it. Oh, there's another unknown soldier, CSA. We see those every day. Hope the video wasn't too shaky. And, uh, you know, maybe before we go, we'll highlight Captain Leslie's burial place. I don't think we did that in the beginning. I think we just walked over to the other one. And this guy was a giant in this area in this day and age. Or in his day and age, I should say. That's interesting and compelling. Maybe we'll go through this area real quick again. I think we got to see the front portion of it. Physician, pharmacist, Methodist minister, branch. Until the branch, so this is the branch family section apparently, Franklin branch. Surgeon, Madison, South Carolina, first. I'm sorry, Andrew Addison's company. Indian Wars. Wow. Wow. Good stuff. Gentleman Branch Assistant Surgeon. Florida Now in Militia. Indian War. So, again, we learned that there's always something to be learned from these visits. Now we're gonna 